preparing to leave for the mountains. Hopefully we'll catch some food and the shotgun will come in handy. The X marks the spot high on a mountain where Perem says I'll probably find the remains of a sea force. Below the buttes you can see the draw in which the plane crashed. The remains are hard to find but they're scattered in the rocks. Within minutes after arriving at the crash site it started snowing so we had to quickly set up our tents. It snowed periodically all night and I just hoped that everything was not buried under two foot of snow the following morning. The following morning was sunny, so we were in luck. I quickly scurried about, found remnants of parts, took GPS sightings, and tried to get a good map of the location. Here my guide, Luin, has part of an engine cowling. Many parts of aluminum fuselage were scattered in the rocks. This is part of the crankshaft of one of the engines. Each engine was a Pratt & Whitney 1200 horsepower. I believe this is the frame of the rudder of the C-47 and also remnants of the radio kit. At many points we had to help each other across by using poles or whatever to hang on to. Some of the porters slipped and fell in the heavy rapids. virtually impossible to take photos or video within the jungle itself. The dense vegetation blotted out all sunlight. In most cases you couldn't see more than a couple of feet ahead of yourself. The constant moisture made the jungle so muddy and slippery that you had to use both hands to hang on. Otherwise you'd be sliding backwards. Frequently while hiking through the jungle I almost stepped on snakes. Fortunately, I was able to see or hear a little bit of movement in the leaves beneath my feet. That was another concern in the jungle, because you had to be careful where you placed your hands. You might actually be grabbing a dangerous snake. From here on out, the porters are cold and wet all the time, as they don't have the same clothing that myself and my guide Lewin have. So they generally stay huddled up under some visqueen that they strung up between tree branches and try to keep warm while Perem, myself, and my interpreter take off to find the wreck. Perem says there are two additional sites, crash sites of B-24s down this valley ahead of these tents. I won't have time to get to them this year, but perhaps. These mountains are all between 14,000 and 16,000 feet altitude. In spite of the good conditioning of all of us, it's definitely a lot of work packing up these steep grades.